Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go through my uh, haul for this week. I um, went to my LCS on Wednesday, but uh, earlier in the week, uh, my daughter and I went to a um, secondhand bookstore that's got a lot of um, a big, huge comic book area. So, uh, took some stuff to trade, got a pretty decent amount of credit, and uh, put it to some good use. So, um, this is what I picked up at my LCS. First up, we have from uh, Antarctic Press AP um, Horror Comics number 28. Um, this says Beach Off. This is a uh, anthology. They do have um, some, uh, you know, continuing stories, but a lot of times it's uh, kind of one and done. Um, I find it uh, pretty entertaining. And then from um, AWA, got um, Red Light. Got the uh, Frank Cho um, cover as well. Uh, again, really, uh, really liking this. It's a... Um, um, robot android um actually no a robot um that's forced into uh, prostitution and um starts to become sentient it seems like and uh it's a really interesting story i'm really curious to see how it uh how it goes and also from awa um rumpus room number four uh i went with the uh the variant cover because um i just uh like the uh evil looking Eeyore and then um, Bad Idea is back with one called the Destroyer um, talking to my LCS just the way they mark it and their restrictions on stuff it's a um, I, I understand how um, some of this stuff is sought after and how there's very limited supply um, I actually got a mail in one sent to me uh, the first mail I did for them uh, it was the uh, uh, briefcase. It was one, um, only 50 copies went out. Um, did end up um, trading it in. I um, uh, It was part of the Hero Trade universe, which I know absolutely nothing about. So I went ahead and put it to um, some good use and uh, believe I probably got um, some of the older Fantastic Four and Thor from it. And then um, from Boom, Animal Pound. Um, I know I got the ash can, which I read through, and um, it looks like it's going to be a little dark um, from what I got from it, from the ash can. I haven't uh, read through the full issue yet, um, but the dogs and cats team up in the pound to, uh, uh, to get their freedom, it seems like. And also from Boom, um, Hunt for the uh, Skinwalker. Uh, Got the uh, the cow cover because uh, it's like the way the cow is looking at me. Um, again, for you those you don't know, um, uh, there's a ranch up in uh, Utah. It's got a lot of paranormal activity, UFO sightings, and just all sorts of weird things going on. There's actually a uh, a channel uh, on the History Channel um, about the uh, about the ranch and the scientists that are there at the moment um, conducting experiments. <laughs> And then um, Rare Flavors, number three. Um, really am I'm liking this. Again, it's uh, not what I expected when I first read the uh, first issue, and then just the way that turned out. Um, the uh, character on the cover is a um, Hindu god that um, loves food, but uh, a lot of that involves um, people being eaten as well. And then from Dark Horse... Um, Borealis. Not sure what this is about, but it was on the um, the app I follow, um, Key Collector. As looking through it, it looks like it's going to be one of those sci-fi, maybe supernatural. And then um, I had it last week, put it back. They gave me the foil. Um, luckily, they had an issue left of. Um, the Batman Death in the Family, the uh, version where Robin lives. Uh, only reason I picked it up is um, if you watched my haul last week, I was at a Goodwill and I actually got the Death in the Family trade for a couple of bucks. So I can read the trade now and then I can see the alternate ending. Um, Harley Quinn, black, white, and redder. 
Um, number six, just love this cover. And then they uh, tempted me with the foil. Um, Joker and um, Harley Quinn. Um, it's just uh, the covers they've been on. But, um, you know, the foil seems to be the in thing at the moment. And I have always liked that cover as well. And from um, Image, Creep Shows Back, um, Issue 4. I went with the, uh, the variant cover. Just uh, love the uh, bloody butcher. And then Deviant, number 2. Um, yeah, and I like the first one. Um, again, it kind of went into a direction where um, I didn't um, expect it to go with some of the characters. One of them being a uh, on the registry list for sex offenders. And then um, Philadelphia is back, issue thirty-two. Uh, I'm gonna give it another read on this. Um, I love the story. Not a huge Spawn fan, so when he came in, I was kind of like, ah, I think I need to be done with this. It's kind of gone as far as it can at the moment uh, for me. And then uh, the other hauls, I uh, picked up um, Knights number three, not realizing I missed number two, so I need to go back and uh, read two and then three. And then finally, uh, Undiscovered Country's back. Uh, issue 27. I don't know how many more issues are left on this. Um, again, I'm really enjoying the story. Sometimes it seems to drag out a little bit, but um, you know, I think that's uh, that's to be expected with some of these stories. Uh, sometimes they're a slow burn. And then one that uh, was supposed to come out last week, but they got it this week um, from. Mad Cave, Charred Remains. Uh, really looking forward to reading this one. Uh, the premise I understand is there's a, a lady whose um, childhood home, uh, when she was a child, caught fire, and she actually saw the creature or person responsible for it walking through the fire. So I'm curious to see how it goes. And then the uh, Devil That Wears My Face, issue number three. Um Again, a priest, it's it's like the exorcist, but um, it kind of expands out where the uh, demon actually swaps bodies with him and traps him in the possessed person. And then on to uh, Marvel. Uh, LCS did get me the uh, J. Scott Campbell, Amazing Spider-Man, so love his work, so I can't turn that down. Then... Um, Incredible Hulk number seven. Uh, again, really enjoying where the story is going. Uh, Star Wars, um, the High Republic's back, and um, if you read it, um, you know they've got two series going on now, um, spinning out of the uh, the first series, and then um, another uh, Star Wars revelation. Got the uh, Django Fett cover. Um, it's my understanding that Dr. Afra is supposed to be out this week, but they did not have it, so hopefully next week. And then finally, um, back uh, from Scout is Snow White and the Zombie Apocalypse. Um, I feel like it's been a while since number four came out, so I uh, need to um, catch up on this one. And then... Um, Vault again uh, had given a another one um, for free, so um, beyond real, um, it's free. I'm gonna give it a try and see uh, see if I like it. And then from Zenoscope, um, the Bell Annual, and then um, Hydra, which um, love the cover. It looks like a uh, like a painting. So that was from my LCS. Um, this is what I picked up from that secondhand uh, bookstore. Um, I found a uh, White Widow number three. 
Don't know if I have this copy, but these ones are hard to find. Um, it's from Absolute Comics Group. Jamie Tyndall um, did the story. And, um, you know, she's got a, a suit that gives her spider-like powers. I know it could be uh, questionable as to who the influence was. And then uh, from Chaos Comics, I found the uh, Lady Death um, lingerie issue. Um, a lot of the older Lady Death that I've come across, I'm finding are or do retain some value. So I went ahead and picked it up. And then they had a, a set. I've always wanted to read it. And they had the whole set of Batman the Cult. At least I hope it's a set. There was four issues. And then another one you don't really see out in the wild, but um, Red Room, the uh, Peach Momoko cover. I went ahead and picked it up. Again, I may have this. This may be in better um, condition than I have, but um, it's a really disturbing um, comic book about um, Red Rooms and the um, online um, snuff videos. So um, if you're squeamish, stay away from it. If um, you're a gore fan this is definitely for you and then some uh filler issues of some of the uh, avengers here and then um i do uh i do have a thing for spider woman for some reason it might be the uh the outfit but uh new avengers number 15 and then um, I know I've got the uh, newer um, Avengers um, up to, I think, issue 50, but um, number 32, the uh, Spider-Woman variant. And then, um, again, kind of hard to find some of the Hulks in the wild. They all seem to be really popular, but uh, 371, 406. Um, I love the uh, 371 cover. And then um, I actually found the uh, Hulk wedding for pretty, pretty cheap. It also came with a Nick Fury card in the back. Love the, uh, the Punisher on the back there, or on the front cover. And then the big pickup was in the case book they had a uh, Thor, number 171. It's a little beat up. Um, I don't have the value online yet, but, um, you know, I'm trying to fill my Thor. Uh, also was able to pick up 458, 471, and then 501. So, um, yeah, secondhand bookstores, if you never thought about them, can definitely be a, uh, a place to uh, find comics. I um, think I mentioned in my uh, Spider-Man video, I actually found the first appearance of Rhino at a uh, secondhand bookstore, and it was really cheap. Um, I think I paid $25 for it, and it might be a 2.0, but... Um, even that's going online for a couple of hundred, it seems like. So, um, anyway, that's my haul for this week. And, um, I do have some other stuff popping up next week on Christmas Day that I've got preset to go. Um, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you picked up for the week. And, um, have a good Christmas, and I'll see you next week.